Hello, this is Ariel from Scott Leroy Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to change your new KW Command website domain name or URL, and where you will need to update that new domain name in your command account, as well as the location in your MyKW account. So first you're gonna sign into your command account. So it's the agent.kw.com to take you right to your command homepage. And once you're logged in, you can click on the KW logo in the upper left-hand corner. That'll just expand this menu so you can see all the options available to you. And you'll select this last clickable option for sites. So once you're on this page, you'll look towards the upper right-hand corner right below your name and photo, and you're going to click on Agent Site Settings. So the first option that pops up should be domains, and this is where you can request a new domain. So let's say I wanted to update ours to SLM, and then it'll give you an error message saying it has to be longer than three characters. So let's say I just wanted to do SL marketing. And then when you click on update subdomain, it's going to give you a warning saying this action will release your previously claimed subdomain. Are you sure you want to proceed? So basically that means if I said yes, my new domain, as long as it's available, would become SL marketing and I would lose the one that we had previously. So I don't want to change mine right now, so I'm going to click no, but you will go ahead and, and click yes. It's just going to give you that um, attention warning that you won't be able to use your previous domain. It'll just replace it. So I'll do no. And then once it saves, it'll let you know. And then it also says, please be advised, it can take up to 15 minutes for your new subdomain to be reflected on your site. So if you test it out um, and it takes you over to kw.com directly instead of to your own branded command site, just give it about 15, 20 minutes and then that should update. So once you have your new domain name that you would like to use, there are two places that you're going to wanna to change that out. So the first place will be in command. You'll just click on your name and then settings. And then once this page loads, you'll go to command settings, sorry, connect settings. You'll go to connect settings and then marketing profile. And if you scroll about halfway through the page, this is where you would enter your new domain name. And one thing to note is for the KW subdomains that have the .kw.com in the title, you will not want to use the www option in front of them. Um, sometimes that affects the way that your website displays. So you'll want to do HTTPS colon slash slash and then your domain name. So domain.kw.com. So once you have your new website domain name in there, you would click down at the bottom, scroll down to the bottom to click save. And that'll go ahead and get that updated in command. The second place that you'll want to change it out in is going to be in eEdge. So for that, you'll go over to mykw.kw.com. And in the eEdge control panel box towards the top center of the page, you can click on the plus sign next to my marketing. And then you'll click manage eEdge website. From here, you're going to click on account and my account. So again, that was account and then just the first clickable option for my account. Once that page loads, you'll see all the other options that you could change. So this is basically in case you still have contacts set up on um, eEdge marketing campaigns or if you're using any other marketing materials, you'll wanna update it here just in case you're still using any of those campaigns or anything within eEdge. So to change it, you'll click on edit and then you'll change it out right over here under the marketing website option. Once you have that changed, you can just click on save. And one thing to note is in this section, wait for it to load again, in this section where it says website right over here, this portion is not editable. That's just going to show you what your original eEdge URL is. So you don't need to worry about that section at all. It's just going to be the marketing website section. That's the one that you'll have to edit. 
All right, so those are the two locations to change out that new domain name after you've updated it within your command agent site settings. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at scottleroymarketing.com.